Hi, welcome. My name is Shanna, and this is a mild yoga finisher. So a yoga finisher is intended to be used at the end of your workout. So if you're in this workout, I'm assuming you're already warm, you've already been sweating, your heart rate's already been up, and you're ready to finish off your workout. So there's not much by way of warm up in this particular yoga practice. I'm assuming you're ready to go. Now it's a mild yoga finisher. So this one we're gonna start up here to match where you're currently at after exercising and then start to bring the intensity down way, 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 way down. This isn't really spicy. This isn't gonna get you really warm again. We're gonna start and then just really gently come all the way down enjoying a Shavasana at the end. So get ready. You're already ready to go, so we're gonna get right into it, starting with a couple of sun salutations where we're gonna start intense and then take the intensity of the sun salutations down. So here we go. Come to the top of your mat. Feet are planted hip distance right underneath your hip. You're in one long straight line. Hands come down along your sides. We'll take one breath in, one cleansing exhale. One more time like that, breath in and breath out. <sighs> Inhale, send your arms up. Exhale, hands come down to heart, forward fold all the way down. Hands come to shins, make a number seven flat back, breathe in. Exhale, plant your hands, step back to high plank, immediately lower down, maybe only halfway to chaturanga, maybe all the way to your belly. On an inhale, come to upward facing dog or cobra, press through the tops of your feet feet, shoulder blades down your back, exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Take a breath in, breath out. Inhale, look to your hands. Exhale, walk or step or tiptoe to meet your hands. Breathe in, find that halfway lift. Breathe out, forward fold. Breathe in, roll up to standing. Let your arms float up to the top. Exhale, hands to heart center. Taking it down a notch. Inhale up. Exhale, bow all the way forward. Inhale, hands to shins, half lift. Exhale, plant your hands. Step your left foot back. Step your right foot back. You're in high plank. This time, lower all the way down to your belly. Keep those hands planted right underneath your shoulders. Untuck your toes. Inhale your chest up, cobra. Exhale, your forehead comes back down. Inhale, press back to a tabletop position. Tuck your toes, lift your hips. Exhale as you come to downward facing dog. Breath in and breath out. One more in. And out. Inhale, look at your hands. Exhale, walk, step, tiptoe up to meet those hands. Breathe in, halfway lift. Breathe out, forward fold. Breathe in, roll up to standing. Your arms come all the way up. And exhale, hands to heart. One more time, taking it down a little further. Inhale up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step your feet back to a high plank, immediately drop your knees. Lower all the way down to your belly. Leave your hands planted under your shoulders, untuck your toes. Inhale just the tiniest bit to a baby cobra. Just the top of your head and your chin and the tops of your shoulders start to lift. Exhale, send your forehead back down to the earth. Inhale, press back to tabletop all the way to child's pose. So send your knees a little wide, let your toes meet together, drop your head all the way down into child's pose. We'll take a few breaths here. Last breath in, cleansing exhale. Lift yourself up to a tabletop position We'll move through a cat cow. Drop your belly, lift your chin, lift your tailbone up to the sky. Let your collarbones come open while your shoulder blades fall down your back into cow. 
Now exhale, moving the opposite direction. Your spine rounds towards the ceiling. Your shoulder blades spread. Your pubic bone and your forehead draw toward one another under your body into cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. One more. Breathe in, cow. And breathe out, cat. Come to a neutral spine. Tuck your toes. Find downward facing dog. Lift your right leg up, three-legged dog. It can be gentle. You don't have to be intense here. Draw your right knee to your nose and set your right shin down on the earth. Maybe walk your hands forward just a little bit. Your left foot is still extended. You're on the ball of your foot. Start to open up your hips, stacking your left hip on top of your right. You can kickstand this right leg out a little bit, pressing into the big toe side of your left foot. Start to lift your left arm up, stacking left shoulder over right. You should have a nice straight line from your left fingertips down through both shoulders all the way down to the earth. Breath in and breath out. Lift your left leg up if you want to, no pressure. Nice and parallel to the earth. Hold here. Press through the top of your right foot on the ground. Find some balance there using that entire leg. If you want to take it a little further, you can bend your left leg, reach back with your left hand, grab your ankle, and kick your foot into your hand, further opening across the chest. Still keep your core and abs engaged. Don't totally flare out and lose that shape. Open back up if you chose that bind. Drop your left foot down to the ground. Drop your left hand down to the ground. Come all the way back into tabletop. Tuck your toes and come to downward facing dog. We'll do that same thing on the other side. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Draw your knee to your nose. Set your left shin down on the ground. Adjust your hands right underneath your shoulders. Left foot is back, ball, or right foot's back. You're on the ball of your right foot. Start to stack your right hip over your left. Big toe edge of your right foot's on the ground. Your right arm reaches up. Look at that right arm. Look at those right fingertips pointing up at the sky. Kickstand that left leg a little bit to give you the stability that you need. And when you're ready, if you want to try it, lift that right leg. Finding that shape parallel to the ground in one long line from the crown of your head all the way down to the tips of your toes. If you want to take that bind, bend your right leg back, grab with your right hand, and kick your right foot into your right hand. Press through the top of your left foot. Gently release that. And gently bring your right foot back down to the ground. Your right hand back down to the ground, finding a tabletop position. Now we're going to repeat that. It's going to be really similar, but we're going to have an ear on the mat. I'll walk you through it. No worries. Here's how we're going to do it. Start here in tabletop. Inhale, lift your right arm up to the sky just to open up for a moment here. And then exhale, snake that right hand under your left armpit. Set your right ear on the mat. So the back of your right arm from your fingertips all the way to your shoulders is pressing on the mat. Extend your left arm forward. Fingertips find the earth. You, you're going to need those fingertips. Now extend your left leg out behind you. You can stay just like this. Or you can try what we did a little bit earlier. You can start to open up your hips. Stack your left hip on your right. Lifting that left leg up. Press through your right shin. Press through the back of your right arm. Use those left fingertips. And listen, the furthest that you can do is roll onto your back over your right shoulder. So you don't have very far to go here. There's not much to risk. You're not going to hurt yourself. Hold here. If you want to take it a step further, you can start to lift your left fingertips up off the ground. 
and bring those left fingertips back down, maybe a little bit closer in front of your face. Set your left foot back down on the ground. Use those left fingertips in front of your face to lift up, coming back into a tabletop position. Now we'll do the other side. Left arm opens up to the sky first, then it sneaks underneath your right armpit. Press your left arm into the floor. Your right fingertips extend. Your right leg extends back. Then start to stack your right hip on top of your left, lifting up your right leg. Really press through the back of your left arm. Press through your shin and the top of your left foot. You want to take a little further. Lift your right arm up off the ground. It's okay if you're wiggling and wobbling. That's challenging all of those little tiny muscles in your body to keep up. Set your right hand back down in front of your face. Set the ball of your right foot back down on the ground. Press up, coming into a tabletop position. Toes together, knees wide, back into child's pose. We'll slow things down a little bit more, moving into some still poses to get into our hips. A little bit more twisting, come into a tabletop position. Hips over knees, shoulders over wrists. Tuck your toes, come back to downward facing dog. This time in downward facing dog, feel it out a little bit. Give yourself what you need, check in, think about the muscles you worked today whatever exercise you were choosing to do. And maybe you bend one knee to get into the back of your legs. Bend one knee at a time. Maybe you start to bend your arms ever so slightly, bend your elbows towards the mat. Let your chest sink further down towards the mat if you need to get into those shoulders a little bit. Walk your down dog shorter just by a couple inches, maybe an inch or two or three. Pick up your right hand, reach back toward your left calf or ankle or heel, finding a down dog twist. Really gaze underneath that left armpit. Press evenly through both heels. Don't dump all the weight into your left wrist. Use your entire left palm all the way to each left fingertip to support that weight. Put your right hand back down on your mat and switch. Left hand reaches back towards your right calf, ankle, or heel. Release that left hand back down to the mat. Adjust your down dog step back if you needed to shorten it to find that twist. Lift your right leg up, three-legged dog. Again, just gently, really briefly. Bend your knee, draw your right knee toward your right wrist. Set your right shin up somewhere between parallel to the top of your mat and at a 45 degree angle. We're moving into pigeon pose and the books will tell you that to do pigeon perfectly, your right shin is parallel to the top of your mat. That's not accessible for most of us. I'm somewhere, I wanna say around 35 degrees, if we're gonna get really technical. Send your weight back. I like to creep my back foot back a little bit. The important thing to remember as pigeon is that your weight is centered over your body. You're not falling off to the right side in this case. So if you just find yourself falling off towards the right side, pick your weight up a little bit, Draw that right foot in, and you can either float, so you're not quite resting on the ground, or take a blanket or a pillow or a block or a book and shove it underneath your right glute to provide that support. So settle in here in pigeon. This, you, this, your chest is lifted. This is proud pigeon, you can stay right here. Or you can come down to your forearms. Or you can come all the way down and place your forehead on your hands. We're gonna stay here for several breaths to really get into that hip. Mm. 
One more breath in. One more breath out. If you're folded over, walk your hands back to your mat, lift your chest up. Now, send your weight over to the right. We do want to do this intentionally. Swing your left leg all the way around in a big circle. Take that left foot, hook it outside of your right knee. Reach your arms up. Twist over to the left. Left fingertips come behind you. Right elbow hooks on the outside of that left knee. Lift the crown of your head up towards the sky. Don't sink into it like this. This was gym class in high school. Lift, engage your core. Imagine zipping up that internal corset and gaze over your back shoulder. Last breath here. As you exhale, gently unwind. Don't think too hard about it. Just come right back to tabletop position and we'll do the other side. Once you're in tabletop, tuck your toes, find downward facing dog. Just passing through onto pigeon on the other side. Inhale, your left leg comes up and bend your knee. Left knee comes behind the left wrist. Get that shin set up at an angle that feels good to you. Creepy crawl your right foot back. Get your weight centered over your body. If you need to tuck something underneath your glute, do that. Fingertips to the mat, you can stay lifted or start to lower down to the degree that you feel comfortable. Last breath in, breath out. Plant your hands. If you're folded over, lift your chest up. Now we're intentionally rolling over to the left side. Swing your right leg all the way around. Right foot hooks outside of the left knee. Reach your arms up, twist over to your right. Right fingertips plant behind you. Left elbow hooks on the outside of that knee. Lift from your tailbone all the way up through the crown of your head. Gaze over your right shoulder. Last breath in. Exhale as you release that twist. Send your legs out in front of you. Come all the way down onto your back. We'll just move through a brief happy baby pose before we finish things off. So in happy baby, the soles of your feet point up towards the ceiling. Grab the backs of your thighs, insides of your knees, your feet, your big toes, you choose. Let gravity do its job, allowing your knees to come down alongside your rib cage towards your armpits. See if you can press every vertebrae in your back flat against the floor. One more breath in. Exhale, draw your knees into your chest. And extend your legs out into Shavasana. Your arms draw alongside your body, but not quite touching. Feet fall away from center. Rest here and breathe. Take this opportunity to find gratitude for everything that your body did for you today. Start to wake your body up, wiggle your fingers, raise your eyebrows, maybe roll your head from side to side. Gently press yourself 
all the way up to seated. Any comfortable seat is fine. Draw your hands to heart center. We'll take one last breath in together. And big cleansing exhale. The light in me honors and sees the light in you. Namaste. Thanks for practicing with me today. I hope this was a great way to finish off your workout and come back for more another time.